everyone, it's Lisa, and today I did this look for you with, I would say, probably 95% Tarte products. I am partnering with Tarte on this video to bring you one of, I think, probably one of the most exciting product launches we have had in a long, long time, and it is the new, where is it, Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy. So this is their new Tarte Shape Tape for women like us that are either slightly mature or if you have dry skin or if you have used the original Shape Tape and thought that it was just a little bit too drying or you just couldn't make it work. I think you are going to love this. I have used Tarte Shape Tape for years. I use the light medium and that is the shade that I got in this one. It is just the 29N light medium and oh, you will see how bright it makes my under eyes and I kind of carried it down. I like to put my concealer on at the end. That way I can kind of gauge how much I need instead of really loading it on in the beginning. If you want to put it on in the beginning, they suggest like three little dots and then you can use their sponge to blend it in. I did it the way I've always done it at the end. So you have to kind of adjust that according to what look you like. I really like a bright under eye. So the most exciting thing about this to me is that this concealer actually has an eye cream in it. So it has all kinds of wonderful ingredients that are moisturizing, invigorating, hyaluronic acid. It has raspberry extract to tighten and firm. It has the prickly pear, ginseng, mango butter, just all types of great ingredients, just like an eye cream would have to make our eyes look better and feel better, but it still lasts 24 hours. It's creaseless and it will not look flat. That is the best thing for me, I think, is the fact that it's moisturizing. I'm not good at using a, an eye cream in the morning anyway before makeup. And so I just feel like it is a win-win. I noticed that the color was the same. So whatever color you used to use in the original Shape Tape, I think you could get in this Shape Tape Ultra Creamy. So if you would like to see this in action and all of the other Tarte products, then just keep on watching. Hey guys, so the first thing that we're starting out with is the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. This is one that's good for like right there on the sides of my nose, I have the larger pores and on my chin, I have some larger pores and I really like around my mouth to be really smooth. So I just used a little bit of that, a little bit goes a long way. This is the Face Tape Foundation and the shade I'm using is 29N. And it looks like it's gonna be too light for me, but you'll see once I get it all blended in, I'm gonna use something else to kind of get the color perfect. And this is the Tarte sponge that I'm using. I love the flat side of it. It makes it really easy to blend in the foundation and get all around my eyes and nose and everything. So I did not cut any of this out. I wanted you to see the foundation and how well it blended in and how well it canceled out my redness. That's one of my biggest issues is, you know, having a foundation that will cancel that out and give me a good golden color. And so I'm dragging that down my neck to cancel out that redness. And then after I get it all over, I kind of like to go back over it and like work it in my skin. So that's what I'm doing here. <laughs> I spend a long time doing that. Okay, now this is one of my favorite Tarte products. It is the Tarte Mineral Powder, and the color is Light Medium Neutral. And so what I'm going to do is I'm, in the beginning, I started off just in like the contour areas because I kind of wanted to see how that color blended in with this foundation, and I really liked it. So I went ahead and after I saw like right now, I'm seeing that I really like it. So now I'm kind of putting it all over because this mineral powder just has a, a wonderful glow and I just loved the tone. I, th I felt like it kind of toned down the foundation and made it just look a little bit, I don't know, just gave me more dimension. 
I've always loved a good mineral powder over foundation. Okay, this is the product that I discovered, I believe, last year. It is the Waterproof Face and Body Bronzer and the brush that goes with it. And so I wanted to take that down my neck and chest, and it's beautiful. This is the Shape Tape Glow Wand, and the color I am using is Dream. All of these products can be bought in bundles. So like if you want to get a bundle like I'm using that has the shape tape and the this highlighter, you can on their website you can see all the different bundles that they offer. But this I was I was pretty happy about that lip situation. I think I liked it so much how it highlighted around my lips. I decided to use some on my chin and I really liked it, you know, on the tops of my cheeks too. Okay, these are two bronzers that I've had many times and forever. They are the matte Park Avenue Princess and the regular one. So I decided to use the matte and do my contour bronzing or bronze tour. And you guys know I like a sculpted makeup look. So I am doing around my hairline, my big old forehead, and then I'm trying to tighten up that jawline and any sagginess in the neck and then I carry what's left down. This is one of my all-time, all-time favorite blushes. It is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Glisten. It is a beautiful peachy color, and I like to blend it right into the bronzer, into the tops of the cheeks. It's gorgeous. Okay, this is that new palette that I showed you not too many weeks ago. It's from Tarte. And I just start off with the lightest color. The bottom row is my favorite. I think the bottom two rows. And you can pr pretty much watch what colors I'm dipping into. But what I do first is get my crease color, kind of like a base crease color, with a big fluffy brush. So nothing too exact at this point. Then I take a smaller brush and I am going to get that lighter shade, a little bit of shimmer in it, and do the inner corner and probably about the inner third of my eyelid just to brighten it up in there. And then I'm going to go in with an eyeliner and do a brown winged liner first and then I go over it with the black so that I have a good place to sit my lashes down. And I left in <laughs> somewhat of a blooper. I just thought it was funny. I thought you might get a kick out of it, but I had some tart lashes that I had purchased a while ago and they were just a little too much for my not so big eyes. So in a minute, you'll see that um, where I tried to put those on, but it was, not good but here I am just doing the wing liner with the brown and then you will see me come back and do right at the exact lash line with black and then do a tiny wing just to set the lashes down here we go That just helps everything blend a little bit better, but it's not quite as harsh as a full-on black line. Okay, now, like I always do, after I get my wing, I take a mid-tone color. This one's a little warmer, and I come off of the wing and kind of contour the eye just a little bit more. And then now that I've got most of the color off of my brush, you see I bring it in towards my nose. I don't want that to be really dark, but I do like a little bit of it. Now I'm using that next to the darkest color just to accent the outer corner just a little bit. When you layer all of these tones, it just gives it a lot of depth and still keeps it neutral. Okay, now I'm taking that mid-tone and I'm gonna just go on my lower eyelid. I don't always do this, but 
with this I thought I would I don't put any mascara or anything else down there but I do like just a little bit of shadow down there it just kind of I don't know I feel like it makes it all go together a little bit better and I'm just putting a creamy off-white matte shadow at the brow bone okay here is the, <laughs> the funny part I sped it up but it's so funny as soon as I put them on right here I thought oh no this isn't gonna work but then I put that one on and I was like oh my goodness can I make this work and I looked at them and looked at them and looked at them and did that <laughs> So here is the Tarte Mascara, and it has a really nice wand that gets really good thickness at the roots. I think you guys would love this mascara. I believe it's called Maneater. Very, very black. It just did really well. So you'll see I put on multiple coats of mascara. <laughs> I was pretty impressed with the mascara. I was thinking, okay, maybe I don't even need lashes, but I just, I always like lashes. Just really good. And I had to put on another layer because more is more. You can see I'm almost touching the roots of my lashes. I like to get it all the way down. There we go. Okay, now the ultra creamy. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. I've always loved doing this. And I couldn't believe when I was doing that how creamy it is. You can really tell it is moisturizing. So I like to just put it right where I want it in that shadow. And it was so brightening. I thought, why well, stop there? I went ahead and took some more and blended it around my nose and then down the, I don't know, laugh lines or whatever they are. And then I pulled it out underneath my kind of like on my temples, that helps too. And then this, I'm doing the other eye. I really think you guys will like this. I think it's worth a try and they are really good about selling little smaller sizes on their website so that you can try it. And I do have a code LISA15 that I will put down below for 15% off. I'm gonna put it, I did the whole center of my face, even down my nose and on my chin. I really liked it. It's a beautiful tone. I love the color. So I was very happy with the way it turned out. Okay, this I did. I don't think that I would need this, but I just wanted to show you guys. This is their like loose powder if you wanted to set it. It's the kind that is just almost weightless. And so I did that just to show you. If you felt like you did need to set it, this is one I would probably suggest using. And that is it. Thanks for watching.